<laughs> That's what's up, guys. Get ready. We're gonna unload this when we get home. Check out my nifty bill. What's up, everybody? It's your boy DJ KJ, man. I'm coming at you today with a storage unit haul, man. We finally won our first storage unit. We invested $360 in this unit, and I will definitely be bringing up all the uh, prices on the value of things that uh, you know that we uh, that we have in there. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy this. Uh, let's go. We're gonna start with the ride there. So long story short, it was a two hour drive one direction and two hour drive back. So I went ahead and just only threw part of the driving footage in there. Let's get on to that unit. All right, y'all. So here it is, our storage unit. I've already taken uh, one box. There was a nice little skill saw sitting on top of these three toolboxes. And uh, another one of these, I think that's like a, a jack stand of some sort. I uh, took one of those, and then there was a bag with some really nice roller skates. But check it out, man. Look at this. I don't know about these dolls, but they got to be worth something. Looks like a bike rack, a shop vac. I'm not entirely sure what that orange thing is there. This is a stowaway tri tricycle. That's pretty awesome. Looks like we got a really cool-looking scooter down there. I thought it was a Razor from the picture, looking at them handlebars, but it's definitely an upgrade from a Razor. And we got the fat tire mountain bike. And then we got a vintage diamond back over here. Looks like a foosball table. Cube cool organizer thing. A smart Bluetooth baby scale. Wow, I didn't realize that. Back here we got a bunch of lights. Looks like a, a tote with a bunch of electrical uh, stuff in it. And then that's the lifetime crib. All right, man. So this is it. Here we are. First storage unit. And we got it. So we're going to load her up. And then we're going to take her back home. I'll see you there. <laughs> that's what's up, guys. Get ready. We're going to unload this when we get home. Check out my nifty bill. All right. So as most people that know me know, I've never actually been to a real White Castle in my entire life barely even realized that they were a real place. But let me tell you what, let me tell you what, them freezer things, they got nothing on the real thing. Man, that's a good person. I mean, look at that face, right? Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, what's up? Now we're back at the house, ready to take a look at our haul. The whole bed, as you can see, is full of just a bunch of really cool stuff. So let's get right into it, come on. This looks like a bike rack for a vehicle, would be my guess. Uh, looks like it's got 
all the brackets and, and hardware for it. But it looks like that's a like a rooftop rack for uh, for bicycles. All right. Okay. Next up, look at this. Oh, you know what? Let's go with this. Is on top. I don't know what size these are, but they look like they're really good condition. Uh, I don't know if they're like speed skates, but look at this set of roller skates, man. These things look brand new. The wheels don't even look hardly used at all. Marathon 4. Okay. These have got to be something, right? All right. And yes, it's a full pair. There's the other one right there. Forgive the dogs barking. They're pretty, pretty loud. The neighbor's dogs are loud. All right. Got ourselves a nice skill saw here. It looks relatively... It looks relatively new. It's got a little scratches here and there, but it's really clean for what it is. Cordlet or corded, should I say? It's corded, but still, nonetheless, awesome scored. Ah, a brand new set of ratchet straps. Four of them, to be exact. 15 foot ratchet tie downs. We like these. Oh yeah. All right. We have ourselves a giant tarp. A 12 by 16 tough all-purpose poly utility cover. It's essentially just a really, really big, thick awesome quality tarp. Happy about that. Alright, let's go ahead and get this big item out of the way here. We found ourselves a nice shop back. I haven't opened it up yet and I'm going to go ahead and do that and take a look in it and just see. Hopefully it's not loaded with funky. Hopefully the hoses are in there. Uh, okay, hose is in there. There's a hose in there. Look at that. Go ahead. So there's a hose. I was worried because nice. we don't have all the attachments. We have one, but we do have a hose for it. Well, yeah, we thought the hose was missing. So that's a good score right there. That makes me happy to know there's a hose in there. Okay. We have some foldable jack stands. Uh, a pair of them. These are cool. I like these. Two ton. They're ready for two tons, so. Oh, nice. Good score. Okay, this thing. This mystery item, clothes dryer. So you open it up, and it's like a a giant bag. I would assume you probably hang this somewhere or something. But so if you flip it over, there's a retractable cord okay. underneath. Okay. Because I did kind of look at it. There's a zipper. It unzips yeah. it. There's a giant pouch in there. It stands really tall. I would guess when you turn it on, you leave it unlatched and it might expand. I don't know. Maybe. But you see we got the uh, LCD display on off start timer and settings. And as she said, retractable cord. Pretty cool. Uh oh. Pull that way out. Probably. Oh, come on. <laughs> of course. Is there a release button? Uh, yes. Release button on the side. Nice. Okay. I thought we already broke it. Yeah, no kidding. This, I didn't even see this in the pictures. It's a crane space heater. These are really good. Um, let's see here. Electric fireplace. Uh, 12.5 uh, amps and 1500 watts. So I think this thing is probably industrial strength, probably for probably for like a shop or something, or you know, job site, maybe a construction site in a new home if you're doing like plumbing and it's super cold inside or whatever. Okay, we got boxes here. I think we know what these things are. These two here are the same boxes. It says different colors on them, but let's go ahead since this one's open. Come over here. We'll go ahead and take a peek at what's in here. So the wonder packs. And now tell me this is a box entirely of yeah. Wonder Packs. On the side it says quantity 50. 50 in here. So I'm not going to take the time to count all these. I'm just going to say, okay, there's definitely 50 Wonder Packs in here. These are pink. Okay. This box right here is the same thing. The Wonder Packs. But it says the color is yellow. So we're not going to worry about opening this one right now. Now I have no idea what is in this box. It says... Black Cards gift box. Hmm. What? Ten pieces to the carton. Let's go ahead and pop them open or and look. Ten piece cartons, one of the two. Okay, sweet, bright. Oh my gosh, is it just a gift box? 
I think this is literally just a gift card box. Don't! Hold on. <laughs> Let's just look because I'm super curious. Uh, that's a tool of some sort. Okay, that's a clamp is what oh. that is. C-clamp. So, yeah, you build the box. It has a slot on top for... It's like a surprise or a ballot box, if you will. That's... I don't know exactly what use we'll find for those, but that's what we got. We got a case of those. Ten of them, I believe, is what the thing said. Mm -hmm. If I can get this to go back in the box. Alright. Well, that is that. Not a whole lot of boxes in this unit, which was okay, because as you can see, what else is in here? We didn't need boxes. This is a Hubble Grow Smart Bluetooth Baby Scale. These things, that looks pretty nice. Did you open this up and take a look at it already, honey? No, I did not. Alright, well, let's see. Oh, it is in here. It is. It is yeah, I saw it was in there and that was it. Okay. Okay, right. here's the scale. It's battery operated. Yeah, no plug for it, so it's battery operated. Here is the little pad that goes on it and this thing looks I mean besides a little dust it looks pretty new pretty like it's hardly used I think that's kind of like what they use in a doctor's office when you take the baby I, in for I an appointment I believe so yeah that's, I think that's exactly what that yeah. is awesome score we'll look that up see how much those are worth excuse me we'll definitely be looking up how much that's worth I was uber excited about this I saw a picture of it in or on the website Okay, I love foosball, man. Old school style type game. I uh, can't tell if it's an actual table or if it's a tabletop. It says table. Table soccer family game. So this is probably, you know what? Just for the heck of it. Let's see if it's actually in here. Uh, this thing. I think it is. It's never been open. It's never been open. This is brand new. This is brand new in the box. Mm, so nice. this has got to be in there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Certainly sounds like it. Here we have a Amazon box. I know it's in here. I'll definitely be doing my research on these, but these looks like some sort of vintage or collectible uh, dolls here. They're clearly not played with. They're they're clean. Oh, that's the one with the eyes. I think there's a thing with these ones with the eyes that open. I think this is worth something right here. Look, this one too has the eyes. Oh, cute little ballerina. So does this one. <gasps> oh, I've never seen one that small. Okay, so let's look at it. Little Women. That is cute. Can I get a copyright on here? It has the book on it and everything. Oh, wow. Let's see if there's a year in here anywhere. Sometimes i got a little copyright stamp. I don't want to tear that. I think that's not a page. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it is. They are pages. Oh gosh, they're kind of stuck together. Okay, I'm not going to fool with that. I don't want to ruin it, but look. This her head thing, bobbles. Her, her head moves, her head bobbles, her eyes close. Okay. How cute. And they're clean. Very. Very clean, not played with at all. So hip, her eyes open too. Whee! Wow, that's pretty cool. So I think we might have some decent stuff here. This. Well, his eyes don't close, but look at the detail in the eyes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to guess this is brand new. Yep, I think they are. Yeah. Somebody okay. Well, if you guys know anything about uh, collectible dolls or things like these, drop a comment and let me know. Um, I'm definitely, again, going to be looking these things up and checking them out. Here's one of the last boxes. So this is a Fabriware six cube organizing shelves. Can be set up in different ways. As you see, it gives you. Uh, examples here on the outside of the box. No tools required at touts. Each shelf capacity is 20 pounds. This thing might come in handy for a little organization. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and grab this shimono out. Check this bad boy out. Now it's got Jeep stickers on it and a Jeep bicycle seat. Now that Jeep does make electric uh, fat tire bikes. This is not a Jeep. It is a Shimono. Now, I don't know what the value on these things go for, but we're definitely going to look it up and I'll bring it to you. It's relatively in good shape. There's not, a, there's not any scratches on it. The tires are 
could maybe use a little air, but... I can't tell with that emblem. Maybe Shimono? I'm pretty sure that's... There's another one that says Jeep. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure someone put some Jeep stickers on this. Because I almost lost my mind when I looked at the pictures and saw this in there. Those electric Jeep bikes go for over four grand. That would have been killer. Mm -hmm. We also got ourselves a Jetson scooter. Okay. And I got on it and rode it and it's very smooth. Much better than one of those little razors or something. I if I can figure out how to open it. <laughs> okay, we'll fool with that later. <laughs> and then... This was this a nice bike. score. This is an amazing mountain bike right here. A Diamondback Wildwood Deluxe. And this thing is pretty decently taken care of. I didn't even know it's got a little water bottle holder on it and everything. It's got some sort of... I don't know what that's for. It's, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. This thing seems to be uh, pretty decent. I'm happy with that. Seat's got a little wear on it here, but that's alright. Okay. This... It's a lifetime crib. Uh, how, can you explain these? Yeah, it starts off as a crib for the child and has dresser on the end and drawers underneath. And when they get a little older, when they outgrow the crib, those rails come off. And you use the same mattress, but then a smaller toddler bed rail goes on there. And then after that, when they outgrow the toddler bed, the dresser sits on the floor, you get a twin size mattress, and then you have a twin size, twin -size bed. bed with drawers underneath. Big time score on mm -hmm. this one. Uh, we'll look up the value on that, and uh, yeah, I'm happy with that for sure. Finding now new. This is probably, in my opinion, the best thing in the load. If, yeah, mm -hmm. one of the best, if not the best item in the haul. Hop her on down. I know you're wondering, what in the heck is that? <laughs> well, check this out. Tighten that a little bit. But there we go. Ding ding! Now, unfortunately, the bell top fell off. It still has a little plastic thing hanging off of it. From when the tag, new. yeah. The, on the way here, the bell top fell off. However, we just buy a new bell for that. No worries. Yes. But. Brand spanking new brand spankin stowaway new. bicycle with a basket on the back runs about $500. And it, I'm not entirely sure what this is here on the back, but it looks like some sort of motor. It is a three speed. I did look that up. So, not electric. I think it just changes. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, either way. I think it just changes gears. And it is appears to be brand new. There's not a mark on this thing. The tires look absolutely pristine. Uh, the white walls are clean on it. The seat is perfect condition. Uh, the pedals still have the stickers on them. There's not a speck of dust. There's not a speck of dirt. And look, this, these stickers that come on brand new bicycles, the pedals are still on. Or the stickers still on the pedals. So this thing, I think, is completely unused. It is very nice. Very nice. All right. Okay. If you come over here to the side before we get to the rest of these little things, there is a crate in here that I have no idea what's in the bottom of it. So keep that in mind. We got I don't know how many. We count these. Seventeen, I think. 17, uh -huh. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Confirmed. 17 T8 low profile strip light. Now, I don't know if this is just the lights or if it has the fixtures, but we're going to open this out. There's one box that's opened. There's no bulbs in them. So they're not the bulbs. They are the fixtures. Yes. Right, we got to show the people. Okay. 
I see. Okay. Wow. I think these are mounts for those lights. Hmm. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But that's what we got. 17 boxes of those. Here we have... I think this is a toolbox, right? Tough box. So we got some miscellaneous tools in there. Can never go wrong with tools. Loctite. Loctite. Awesome. Thought it was nail polish. Hopefully it's Thought not it old. Nail polish and tools. Not this. So Glass cutter. Is that what that is? I think so. Huh. A pair of wire strippers and a whole lot of sockets. Oh, Oops. look. A knife. Okay. Yeah, there's a... Uh, a few things in there that look very interesting. Cool. So, I love tools. Nothing wrong with having tools. Full of tools. Another knife. Got some screwdrivers. And all kinds of sockets and extensions. I love having extensions. We have a curved uh, box wrench. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Look, look at all them there. tools. Okay. What is that? That is a, uh, I want to say it's like a, like a punch. Yeah, some kind of punch. Yeah. There you go. It's got some pretty. It's got some pretty decent tools pretty in here. Pretty things in there. I am super happy with that. And again, like I said, nothing wrong with having a lot of tools, because these are not being sold. <laughs> but another toolbox. Full of tools. We've got a lot of tools. Ooh, I like that hammer. Yes, nice old classic hammer there with mm -hmm. a wood handle. Oh uh, yeah, we got a lot of really good stuff in here. A lot of wrenches. Oh my gosh. I'm super happy with that. A lot of screwdrivers. Oh my gosh, ratchets. Ratchets, all kinds of stuff, man. You can never go wrong with tools. Never, ever, ever go wrong with tools. Big time score. And we kind of peeked around in here a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, but we didn't look all the way underneath all this stuff. So here we got some pretty awesome What a Light LED light bars. Uh, they have kickstands. You can set them up. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that does. Hang it up maybe. Hang it up maybe. It has things to mount them on okay. screws. Oh wow! And if you see, the seal tape is still on the button. So these are brand new, unused, and there's two of them. All right. So we got silverback magnetic powered gloves. So if you're wrenching or something and you got a whole bunch of screws, you could literally just throw these on and the tray will sit right on top of your hand and you will not lose your screws that you're working with. All right, it's in this bag here. This 32 piece zip wrench toolkit in a pouch. Oh, look at this. Figure out how to open it. Smarter, 10% smarter than what you're working with. <laughs> oh, I lost a bit. Uh, it's okay. Check all that out. Check all that stuff out. That's pretty neat. And this is a zip wrench. Okay, so there we go. We got that zip wrench kit. Tools. Okay, this. I thought it was okay. Yeah, see, they go into these electric boxes. Hold on, maybe we'll pull some more stuff out first. Okay, check this out Flexure Power Pivot Power, Pivot Pivotable Surge Protection. And if you look at the pictures on the front, there's two of them a black one and a white one. They move all kinds of different ways. That's going to be awesome. Two of them, brand new in the box. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull out this spider web of electric cable it is heavy heavy so yes these are outdoor outlets 10% smarter KJ see you there oh, the outlets are even they're there. already in there and they're wired nice could go good for like some outdoor you know, power for like a garden or Green something like house. that. You can literally set T-posts up and hang them boxes on there. They're, they're made for the outdoor. Mm -hmm. All right. What do we have down here? 
Huh. What is this? Okay. Call me a fool, but I have no idea what this is. Okay. So this... Put it down here again real quick. So that's a blade. What looks like... A Dados? Craftsman carbide tipped adjustable Dados. I have no clue what that is. Not a clue in the world. <laughs> but... It's got the carbide tips, and if I'm not mistaken, that's for metal, I think. Carbide. I don't know, but it's definitely a blade of some sort. I'm not entirely sure. All right, what else do we have in here? Hmm. Okay, I'm stumped again. <laughs> I don't know what these are for. These might be to put under the corner of boxes or a cabinet something they have grip on them here but we got one, two, three, four of those and this is like a handle of some sort I have no clue I'm not even gonna lie alright radial and table saw molding set okay I'll have to do my research I know this is probably an expensive item right here and we got that goes a, to a table saw. It says? Uh, that's probably what that is. And that says table saw. Yeah. So here's our table saw blades. There's a couple of them down here, brand new in the box. Two of them. All right. Well, there we go. That about does it, guys. Uh, I'm impressed. First time ever doing a storage unit. Uh, yeah, I think we came out pretty well. Uh, got some pretty cool items, and hopefully we can flip them for a profit. All right, man. Thank you for joining me on this one, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit that share button. Uh, share on all your socials, and uh, that'll that'll wrap it up. Catch you next time. Peace.